corporatism. The origins of corporatism comes from the idea that people from different sectors of society collectively make political rules that benefit all from different groups. Corporatism is mostly what everyone hates about society. However, they confuse this with capitalism, in my opinion. The ideology of capitalism or capitalistic societies stemmed from trade, from hunter-gatherer days where an individual within small groups would trade their sheep for wood, their wood for copper, their copper for milk. Almost all groups of societies have some form of governments set up as a government state. The ideology of corporatism was meant to give every group of society a voice in how trade should take place and how political systems should run. However, the laws of human nature, the lust for power and control, will always infect the minds of those that were meant to protect us. As supposedly, power corrupts absolutely. One example that suits this case study very well is Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Tommy starts out as a low hood, small time gangster who eventually through clever strategy and ruthless bloodshed positions himself to eventually run some of the biggest racetracks within the UK along with a criminal empire. Tommy's ambitions grow and he sets his eyes on export licenses. The only way to gain export licenses was through high ranking government officials or from the king himself. Someone like Winston Churchill knew this and essentially planned a liaison or a partnership to get what he wanted out of the situation. With Tommy's ruthless control on the street levels and within the working class, people of society, the government was able to gain insight and gain control through Tommy. And with that control and with the large population of the working class, within this story, they would have been able to control the majority vote of where people will place their future government. This would have been likely have done through intimidation, through gangs that Tommy controlled and blackmail and many other illegal avenues of manipulation that will control that majority vote. Tommy's goal was to get the export licenses, which he eventually does. And through the illegal acquisition of the export licenses, he's able to additionally launder millions of pounds, solidifying his power now within the government and within all of society within the UK. He eventually controls masses of people's livelihoods through real estate and many businesses of the working class, eventually monopolizing many markets. Tommy's example is fictitious and very niche, but can be compared to many examples that happen within the world right now, or that has happened within the past that we don't even know about. Many business conglomerates use this model to further their grip on the market and essentially influence people's everyday lives and their behaviour. The Thomas Shelby Empire and the monopolistic government officials, such as high-ranking members like Winston Churchill, were willing to compromise the future prosperity of many people to materialise their own goals and ambitions. Winston Churchill and eventually Sir Oswald Mosley their goals was to increase their governmental footing and authority within their parties and eventually within the world. Tommy's was based purely on profit and power. However, I want to highlight 
that high-ranking government officials and many business people, more so businessmen with the patriarchal world that we're living in, think that what they're doing is the right thing to do and is for the best interests of everyone. No one person should have all that power and if they do, it will absolutely corrupt.